Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Reiboot. If you've ever come across any issues with your iOS device, rather you're constantly stuck on an Apple logo, a reboot loop, a black screen, just stuck, Reiboot offers a standard repair which fix up to 150 iOS issues with no data loss. If you have more serious problems, you have the deep repair which allows you to restore your device back to factory working order and you can enter and exit recovery mode with one single click. So check out Reiboot, links will be in the description down below. So iOS 15.2 developer beta 2 has been out for a couple of days now and as per usual you guys already know I like to come back a few days later after using the software and share with you guys additional new features and changes that I've come across after using the software for several days and Apple continues to surprise and adding some amazing new features. If you'd like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news as per usual don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode now with ios 15.2 apple has brought back a few new features in case you didn't watch my initial coverage apple has now added the communication safety for iMessage. Again, links will be in the description down below for my initial coverage if you didn't watch this. This will help you uh, or your child stay safe while communicating by the iMessage system. Apple has also redesigned the notification summary here for the lock screen of iPhone with 15.2. The graphical user interface that we now have in the privacy department for app privacy report is finally here with iOS 15.2 and Apple has brought back the five clicks of the side button for the SOS to activate on your iPhone. Now, as I mentioned in this video, I'd like to go over some additional new features and changes that I've come across. And I wanna start off with Apple's legacy contact. You can now pass down your digital life after you pass away and Apple has re-enabled this feature with iOS 15.2 developer beta two. And you can find this within settings. If you go to the iCloud settings and you can go ahead and set it up under password and security, you can now add your legacy contact right there in case uh, you want to go ahead and set that up right now. That is a brand new feature that Apple has re-enabled with this software. Now, under the Find My Network, Apple continues to add very, very useful features. And uh, this one caught me by surprise. This one is to allow users to actually look for devices that could be tracking you. Now, if you go into your Find My application on your iPhone right here, and you go into the Items tabs here, you now have Help Return a Lost Item or items can track me or items that can track me. So if you click here, you can actually search for tracking devices and you could disable these uh, tracking devices if you wish to do so. Again, an amazing, very useful feature for iOS and to help a return a lost item is also a new feature here. So if there's a device that is attached to a product or something like that, you can actually scan it, find out if the owner has left a message and you can help return that particular item to the owner. So to a additional new features for the Find My Network. Again, you can find out if there's uh, any tracking devices around you, like the AirTags, of course, and disable those if they're around you and you don't want those to be tracking you, of course, and you can now help return the lost items under the Items tab within the Find My Network, which I'm super happy to see. Again, very, very useful features. Now, something that did catch me by surprise, and this one is within the Apple TV application. So if we go to Apple TV, we now have a new store tab directly in the center for the UI. And of course, in here, you can browse for movies and TV shows, and you can rent them and purchase directly through the TV application or the Apple TV app on your iPhone. I think this is a great move that Apple has added this to iOS 15.2 and you can find a great selection of new movies and TV shows, which is a welcome addition. And last but not least, I also wanna talk about the photos department. So now within iOS 15.2, if you want to shoot a micro photography, you actually get a toggle. So let me bring this case here into frame and take a look here on the bottom left. So if we zoom in here, you see that new toggle? That is a manual toggle for the micro photography so you can choose to go micro or not and that is a new option within ios 15.2 which is really cool to have that directly within the phone or the actual camera application so you don't have to go into settings or anything like that apple continues to improve the camera features within ios 15.2 now we can expect another beta for this software within the next 
two weeks if apple decides to work the week of thanksgiving then we should see the third beta dropping maybe on the week of the 22nd no later than the 23rd of november if apple takes a break this could be the end of ios 15.2 beta testing until maybe mid to late january so unless apple does switch to a weekly release schedule which i don't see it happening but anything can happen at this moment we're still waiting to see if apple will release ios 15.1.1 one in order to address some of the uh, bluetooth bugs and also some of the network bugs and performance and all that but we'll have to wait and see let's keep an eye out 15.2 great software so far looking pretty good i love the new features let me know what you think in those comments down below thank you for watching today's episode and i'll see you on the next one peace